All right, so I'm out here with my Husqvarna 125B, and I've got a slight problem with it. You know, I've had it before. I've fixed it three or four times. No big deal. Uh, anyway, I'm going to show you how I'm going to uh, solve the problem. I'll show you what's going on with it first. So the starting procedure is uh, full choke. You pull it, it pops, then you go to half choke, pull it, start it up, get it running, and then you throw the choke off and boom, blow off your driveway or whatever. Move leaves around. Uh, well, I can't take it off half choke. If I try and move it over to full choke, it, it just cuts out. So typically, I'll just replace the carburetor because it's 10 bucks on Amazon. I've got Amazon Prime, so that includes shipping. Uh, let's say $12 because you have to add tax. Maybe it's $10.99. I don't know. So anyway, so I can just swap out the carburetor for 10 bucks, but I'm going to fix it a little bit differently because you see the fuel here? Well, it's not just gasoline. You have to add oil. So, you know, that's kind of a pain. So I'm going to eliminate that. And I'm going to eliminate replacing the carburetor every couple of years. Uh, even though it's just 10 bucks and, I don't know, half hour of my time. You know, I take longer than that blowing off the driveway. So let me show you what I did. There we go. Problem solved. Milwaukee M18 fuel. Leaf blower. They just call it a blower. I don't know, maybe leaf blower is a brand name. But another reason I bought it is uh, I had a coupon. <laughs> so I bought it at Home Depot, and there was a reason I bought it at Home Depot is actually two reasons. One is I had a coupon. So let's see. I had a 15% off coupon, so that was good. Uh, the price was $159 minus the coupon plus the tax came to 142.31. Uh, even at the regular price of $159, it's very competitive with the uh, gas versions, like the Husqvarna I showed you earlier. So what I'm going to do uh, is uh, open the box up and show you what I got. So we're all sealed up and this is the uh, tool only. I have plenty of batteries because I buy Milwaukee. Uh, I like to stay within a brand. I don't have uh, DeWalt tools and miscellaneous tools and this kind of tools and that kind of tools. When I went electric I went with Milwaukee and the reason I went with Milwaukee years ago I started going with Milwaukee because I talked to all the techs where I work and Milwaukee was the only brand they would recommend, period. End of story. As far as uh, battery life, tool performance, what else is there? Milwaukee, 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 Milwaukee. I mean, you know, they had DeWalt, they had miscellaneous store brand stuff, you know, whatever. But it was always Milwaukee. When the company bought tools, it was Milwaukee. So. When it came to performance, it, that was end of story. So here's just a few of my little tools that I have. I have more, but that's all I grabbed for the video. We're going to unbox the uh, blower and uh, hook it up and make sure it works. All right, let's cut the tape here and get into this thing. want to destroy the box too much. Alright. We have some paper, but I'm a guy so I'm not allowed to read it. We have uh, this thing. I think it blows air out of it. And we have the tool itself. Ooh, ah. All right, we got some company advertisements here. 
Oh look, they have a lot of M12 and M18 tools available. So they don't just have the blower, they have other stuff. So it's very confusing. What do I get? What do I need? Oh my goodness. <laughs> my wish list is a 3 8 inch drive stubby, but you know, it's insane. <laughs> Back in the day, they only had a few and it was pretty easy. <laughs> All right, well, let's look at this guy. All right, so let's see what they got. We got the egg crate here. I'll move that out of the way. I'll just uh, put it over my instructions so I don't accidentally read them. Uh, they have a little plastic bag here. Uh, they have a little covering. Oh, gotta get the knife out because they've taped it shut. We'll get this off. All right, let's look and see what we have. Okay, looks like we have speed control. We got a rabbit and a turtle. Uh, looks like we have a little lock here and a trigger, so you can lock it down. I usually keep it locked, even on my Husqvarna. I don't know whether you noticed, but it was locked. Uh, there's the intake and the fan. Uh, there's the uh, battery holder. Well, we have a lock here. I guess that's for the funnel. That's what they call it. They call it the tube. Alright, so I assume the name goes up. So that's gonna go on here somehow. Oh, it just clicks in place. I didn't have to hold it. So I guess uh, now that it's locked, you have to push it forward to remove it. Uh, that might come in handy depending on your storage availability. Now even though I have a bunch of Milwaukee tools and batteries and also I highly recommend you just buy Milwaukee batteries. I know they're like in some cases two or three times more expensive than the cheap little knockoffs but I've had this battery for a ridiculous number of years. I would say at least a decade. Yeah, that's right, 10 years. And it still works fine. Charges up, no problem. Uh, also, I was, I rambled on, but what I meant to say was, uh, this is my first fuel tool. And fuel is a marketing label. Uh, for the M18 brand line of, of uh, equipment which is which are the brushless motors and all my other tools have brushes and let me tell you what the brushless motors are definitely worth it I know it costs more but when you really start shopping around especially if you're going to use these at home and you're going to keep them for decades like I do, uh, it's well worth the uh, extra money to go with the brushless. Okay, so we are all charged up, ready to go. So all I need to do is pull the trigger, right? And the little turtle is lit up, so we're on low speed. And there the rabbit is lit up so we're on high speed. So I don't know whether I'll need low or high to blow off the driveway or not, but uh, we'll see. I'll try them both out. Alright, so there's my Milwaukee M18 fuel blower. And let me weigh these things. Let's go down the basement I'll weigh them. Okay, the Husqvarna. 125B with pretty much full tank of gas is going to come in at 10.2 pounds, which is 4.63 kilograms. 10.2. So it's just under 4 pounds lighter, 3.78. 
pounds lighter. That's pretty good. Now we are talking just for the blower because uh, this one actually has attachments where you can uh, you know collect all the leaves you know it actually can suck stuff up as opposed to just being a blower so this does have that one feature and I've never ever used it I don't even know where the bag is or the straps or anything so anyway I just use it as a blower alright so let's get back to the Milwaukee fuel blower now I'm going to close the video by walking around the driveway blowing over blowing off some uh, pine needles and stuff little short pine needles but the main reason I'm going electric is because of gasoline and oil that's right you know those carburetors are crap that's why cars are fuel injection uh, mixing gas and oil you know if you have a blower I don't know a lawnmower a chainsaw what else you might have two three four different requirements for the amount of uh, fuel you put in there the mix ratio here's uh, 50 to 1 uh, 40 to 1 60 to 1 1 1 no there is no 1 there's 10 12 13 how many tools you got with electricity you just have a battery and then you just charge it up go for the green light and end of story no mixing fuel no carburetors to deal with got plenty of power it's lighter you know all that marketing stuff that they're gonna tell you is wonderful uh, and it is but again it's really a pain in the butt to deal with uh, mixing gas and two cycle engines it, it just it just really is all right let's look at the specs we have maximum air volume 450 cubic feet per minute I don't know what the low speed is maximum air speed 120 miles an hour uh, noise rating 62 decibels yeah, that's pretty decent actually I don't even know what the gasoline engine is I, I wear ear muffs all the time anyway on that got a lock on button it's 34 inches and they're calling it uh, five pounds uh, oh that's the weight without the battery all right it comes with a three-year warranty and I'll see where I cut this into the video because I'm shooting it at the end this I didn't remember until afterwards that's the reason I bought it at Home Depot uh, it was 159 and I did have a coupon which took 2385 off and then it applied tax to the uh, 135 instead of the 159 uh, which on Amazon I would have paid tax on 159 also the warranty uh, the warranty for products purchased on Amazon uh, may be troublesome <laughs> that's right you heard me correctly even though it's a Milwaukee tool if you ever have trouble with it which I've never had trouble with a Milwaukee tool ever uh, purchasing it from Home Depot or some other retailer uh, it's a lot easier to get warranty work performed on it than if you bought it through Amazon so just a little clue there and I buy through Amazon all the time all those tools I showed you earlier all from Amazon <laughs> every single one of them the batteries all from Amazon every single one of them so anyway uh, just a little heads up there uh, there's fine print everywhere and you really should read it
So here's some final thoughts after I used it. I liked the two speeds. The low speed was great for the garage. I didn't blow pictures and stuff off the wall. Uh, the high speed was needed for the driveway and I thought that the gas powered leaf blower was more powerful. It seemed to blow stuff further away. Um, I mean this was acceptable. Uh, you just had to be up close to it. You know, you just had to be right on it. It was almost like sweeping. Um, the battery, I had to switch batteries. I needed two to do my porch and the driveway. Uh, this one hadn't worn out, so I used the first one up, put on the second one, and it finished the job, no problem. Uh, the intake, I like the intake. Uh, on the rear instead of the side uh, because the gas one on the side would stick to my leg every once in a while. I uh, could use a funnel. I think there is an attachment to narrow it down that might concentrate it and make it better uh, because this big opening here uh, is unrestricted and it makes it seem uh, less powerful. It's less noisy and I don't care about burning gas and pollution and stuff like that but it is nicer than a two-stroke. You do get all that exhaust blowing all around you and every once in a while it hits you in the face and you breathe it in. Not too often though. So anyway all in all my impressions are between a C plus and a B minus I'm kind of spoiled by, you know, years and years and years of uh, gas-powered blower. Uh, but I do like it. Don't get me wrong, even though I didn't give it an A+. Plus, you know, uh, it, is, it is really nice. So I'm going to have to uh, live with it for a little while and see if I uh, fall in love with it or just kind of use it for general purposes. Thank you for watching.